So now we're at the final step in creating an email workflow, and we're going to, at this point, be creating a workflow rule. And so what we do is to go back into settings in the process automation of the platform tools area, and we look for the workflow rules, and we're presented with this good screen of information that's kind of worth reading, uh, but I've read it, so I'll go ahead and move on. Uh, same is true here, great content, worth taking a look at if you haven't already seen it. This is the list of active roles, uh, and you can see again active checkbox tells you what objects they're going against, and some quick you can see the value of a description here to be able to tell you what the rule does. What's interesting is is that you can go in on each of these rules and see what's going on, um, so I think it's, it's helpful if you haven't played much with these rules. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to be working on the uh, the contact object because what we're going to be doing is creating uh, uh, the, the the logic here is that we're um, if, if somebody signs a registration form and asks for um, let us know their 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 required uh, service and it's urgent then we need to be able to help them quickly so we're going to call this uh, a test send report to urgent. Uh, again, we should provide a good description, as I saw on the, in the prior page. Um, these criteria here are, again, worth evaluating. This is when you, when you first create the record, any time the record changes and meets the criteria. So if somebody edits and changes their record, um, or this evaluates every time it's edited. Um, so again, you can, you can pick and choose depending on specifically what you're trying to accomplish. Um, and what we're going to say is, is run it when the criteria is met. So the criteria we're going to use in this case is we're going to use a required field, a requested um, service. So we're going to look for, uh, this is a required service field. And we're going to say it when it's equal to true, meaning it's a checkbox. Um, and so we're going to uh, equals true. <laughs> okay. And then we're going to say, okay, that's good. So we're going to um, save that. And then we're presented with the workflow actions that we want to be taking. Um, and in this case, we're saying the workflow action we want to use is we want to use, well, we could create new things here, but the idea is, is to be able to use those that we've already created. So we're going to see, oh, we're in the task area. We actually want to be in the email alert area, in which case that's where we get our Force 501 urgent. So we're able to say, great, add that and save it. We then have uh, everything's active, and we say, do we want to add a time trigger? No, we're OK. So we're going to say done. And then we're going to take the last step and make sure that we've activated this rule. So now we have an active rule. So if we go to a contact and we say, OK, we've got this contact. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to look and make sure that we've got an email address that works, because that'll drive it. We're going to change the required service field and say uh, we're actually going to make it required, uh, and we're going to click Save. And then clicking on our inbox, we're able to see, yes, we do have an, an email had we, in fact, been registering. Uh, so what you would see is, uh, again, the, a, a salute, an object, a subject line that's personalized and a message that's personalized. And all this has been done as part of a workflow rule. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope this is helpful. And uh, you know, do post your comments and questions, and we'll get them answered. Thanks. Bye.